Today I am explaining about principles of apex locators. When current from a battery is passed through some dental tissues like gingiva, periodontal ligament or oral mucosa, they oppose its flow and that is recorded as resistance. While other tissues like enamel, dentin, cementum etc are insulators. It was found that this resistance is same for oral mucosa and periodontal tissues which is 6.5 kilo ohm. So this information was used to measure working length during RCT. When a file is inserted in root canal and attached to voltage in apex locator, periodontal ligament and stainless steel file acts as conductors. As file proceeds in canal to apex, both conductors touches each other and circuit completes. This leads to flow in current in periodontal ligament and resistance recorded. As this resistance is equal to the resistance at lip clip which is placed on oral mucosa, a beep sound generated. That indicates apex. Then reduce 0.5 mm from this length and that will be final working length. This is the principle of first generation apex locators. But as there can be some tissue or blood or irrigant present in the canal, it leads to completion of circuit before reaching apex and this causes error in reading. So drawback of resistance based apex locator was that they can work in dry canals only. When canals are wet, they acts as capacitors. Capacitor means two conductors that is file and parental ligament in case of tooth separated by a dielectric that is irrigant or blood or tissue in case of tooth. When this tooth capacitor is attached to a battery in apex locator, current flows between file and parental ligament through irrigant. The flow is opposed by irrigant that is recorded as capacitive reactance. Now combination of this reactance and resistance as described before is called impedance. So when file reaches apex, both conductors that is file and parental ligament meets and this impedance value matches with impedance of oral mucosa. At this point, apex locator starts beeping. Another finding was that there is sharp change in impedance at apical constriction which is recorded as 0.5 mark and considered best for working length determination. This is the principle of second generation apex locators. Main aim is to record apical constriction but because this sharp change in impedance value differs in case of different irrigants or different canal widths, it cannot be recorded accurately. To overcome this problem, third generation apex locators were introduced. In these devices, two different frequencies of current were used to record impedance. Now their impedance were compared and this ratio was found 0.72 at apical constriction in spite of any irrigant or any tissue present in the canal. Impedance value can differ in different canal contents but ratio remain always same. So root ZX2 which is third generation apex locator measures impedance ratio at apical constriction which is which indicates 0.5 mark on screen and when file reaches apex and meet the PDL apex flashes on screen. A rest all other markings like 1 or 2 or 1.5 on display doesn't have any significance. Just focus on 0.5 mark that is apical constriction. But these old devices works only as an aid to clinician. They can give faulty reading too as every tooth is different. So take every RCT as an opportunity to develop your tactile for working length. Put your file in canal and check how you feel at apical constriction. There can be some friction, resistance or some stuck there. Record that in your mind. After maybe 1000 or 5000 RCTs, you will start taking working length with your tactile sensation and that will be the most correct method of recording working length. Thank you.